Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to make a Connect Pod spinner. But before we start, to tell you something. On our channel, we don't just do Connect Spodding videos, we do Beyblade videos, Lego building videos. We also have another channel called Positive Gaming, so let's start. Okay, so first things first, we're going to get these two here. And place. And place these here. Like that. And then next you're going to place those two there. And then next you're going to get those there like so. And you're going to place these two through this like that. So then on this side you're gonna replace this so then you can get there you go and We're going to connect the orange ones to these yellow ones, like so. So now it can happily stand by its own. I mean, right, I, I was only struggling because of that, because I need to show you guys, otherwise you guys will definitely not struggle. There we go. I just want to make it more sturdy right now so when we build like the upper bits it's a bit more easier and it is especially like if you don't have much room okay next we're going to place these here like so wait it's this way like that and Next, you're going to place these here. Those there. Make one of those. Guys, if you like me building more giant connect sets, um, I've actually made one a few, um, like, either it's been loaded after this or before this, I'm not quite sure, but um, I've made a connect attack helicopter, if you guys like massive connect builds, I can show you guys, so then we're gonna... Bring it close, like that, and then next we're going to connect these or these blue pieces. There you go. There you 
There you go. And so this is what the base is meant to look like, but we still have a bit to go. We're going to kind of build the walls around this. So you're going to build two of these and two of these, like so. So these ones that have like the red thing facing that way, you're going to place these here, the orange ones. But before we place this orange one here, we're going to turn it around. Put these, this yellow on, we're going to turn this around like this. Place that on. It gives it more like sturdiness. Because it's gonna, this little base seems very small to what we're gonna build on the top, so it's good to give it more protection. So now this is the finished base. Now we're gonna, now we're gonna kind of build the bit that holds the spinning thing for the pod spinner. So here it is. Um. So next, one of these corners doesn't really matter, you're going to place one of these. We We're going to now put this up here, so guys don't forget to put this orange piece there, it's really important. So we're going to get one of these. Oh, you guys, just to give you clear instructions, you're going to need two of these for now. Eight of these red ones. Six of these green ones. Thirteen of these. Two of these blues. That, funny enough, I'm telling you guys the instructions, but I'm missing one of them myself. Um, but for now we'll put these aside actually. Okay, so let's just put those aside for now. And we're going to get this. Um, then we're going to get two of the red ones, like that, another red, one blue, like that, and next you're going to get two more white, two yellow, Two more white, and this bit you can. This bit we can also put aside for now. We're gonna need that later. Um, now we're gonna get another one of these. Place these two here. For now I've borrowed this because this is important for this, it was not really for the base. Okay, so next after we get this we're going to place, wait, um, this actually goes here. And then in these four empty gaps we're going to place four Right, we're gonna leave that one empty, guys. I'm gonna place two of these red ones. Well, actually, um, we need four. We're gonna place two here, one here. Oh, wait, guys, this one's gonna be like that, and then that there. Two orange, one green. 
like that. And I put that there. Um, after this, we are going to get this clip. Now we are going to quickly move that that way. So we can clip that on there. Then we're going to... There we go, I'm going to clip another one of these red ones onto it. And then next, that there. Get this. And get another orange. I'm going to clip it on here. There you go. And next, we are going to place one of these. Like so, and now we are going to get this back. And guys, you need to watch carefully. So, first, you're gonna twist this, these like that, so that's what it's gonna be like. And for this, you're gonna twist it. that so first this red is going to attach to this blue and then you're going to attach the red to these so it's going to be like that so good the reason why we put this here is because we need to add this here Guys, um, don't make the same mistake as I did, because look at this triangle shape, um, and you have to match it with that, so, yeah, that's going to be a bit annoying. Gonna put oh, wait, no, you're, gonna, you're meant to put it on that bottom one there, my bad. So guys, if you look at it from this, you can kind of see that it's meant to go through there. And yeah. So next you're going to kind of get these two holes from here. And we're going to just skewer it through like that. And to keep this in place, before we can move on, we're going to put these two like that and then next we're going to get one of those I'm gonna push it like that get one of these and I just kind of push it outwards and then get one of these purple pieces to lock it in place guys uh, my preference instead of um, like in the situation here instead of using one of these black pieces use this because if one of those black pieces are loose or kind of old they might just slip off this has a good grip so use these more uh, next gonna hold this so you see these two holes and this one you're going to place it through these two like that so now we can leave it and now it's held itself together 
and you can spin it around like that so then next we can just simply one blue two silver one wheel with elastic and guys i'm sorry if you don't have these elastic wheels um without it you can't really move on i'm pretty sure i mean if you've made it this far you might as well try because you must never give up guys and you're going to oh wait um i'm done you have to put this this um piece here because you can't have the wheel just moving around you need to get the hole through that pin and you're going to put it on now you can spin it and the wheel will spin with it like that next i'm going to put this here for now to make some space because you're going to get one of these place another one like that and then we're going to place these four here this is kind of going to be like the top and then i get this back and we are going to This one first, and then okay, there we go. Okay, and now you can spin that around like that. And now for the annoying part, this is the part that is going to require quite a bit of time and effort, in my opinion, because this is the bit where you are going to need lots and lots of pieces. Okay, so... You're going to need one of these. And okay. So we're going to need this. Get four of these blue. You're gonna, uh, well, you're gonna need to build four. I'm going to place this green one and that, that. this, like that. There we go. And we're gonna need another two, so um, for this doesn't really matter, just put them in any directional corner. So if you put one here, you have to put the other one there, otherwise it would just look weird and probably make it unstable. Okay, um, next you are going to get uh, this for now to keep it steady I mean not for now you're actually going to need to build this so look closely guys I'll turn these down so you guys can see better so 
from here, we're going to place a rod like that and two of these green like so and next we're going to turn it here one blue three grey one of these pin pieces there you go oh wait um <laughs> I forgot before we do that two of these And oh wait no, <laughs> and then we get another silver, and then <laughs> okay. I guess the pin piece was annoyed that I took him off the first time, and you're going. So guys, this bit in the middle, once you're done, it's gonna link up and it's gonna like make it not move because it's gonna like do that and this won't move either because this will be attached to the gear yeah the gear and then you're gonna put one of the holes through the pin and now i mean it moves but hardly um which is good and then you're going to do this and then, there we go. And guys, with the power of non-editing and just pure magic, I'm going to do this and duplicate it. Magic. <clears throat> okay. And I'm going to put them to a side. Um, then... Oof, okay, I'm so happy we're getting we're finishing with this because this this is taking a while and um, it's not like the attack helicopter where my fingers were absolutely dying and I just needed to finish. It's just that I'm impatient to spin the wheel with it moving because when it gets to the end, you guys are gonna be satisfied and if you were just watching it, you'd wish you had built it. So that means you have to watch it again. Okay guys, um, if you don't like connects but you've but you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. But as I was speaking, if you didn't like this video, well, it's okay because don't worry, my video is not only connects but Lego Beyblade, and I have another channel like I said in the intro. I have another channel called Positive Gaming, and on this channel. I have over 1800 videos of different things that I know you guys will definitely find something you will like and you won't be disappointed, trust me. Guys, um, you didn't see that but with the power of magic again I'm going to <clears throat> bring out these and with the power of magic I'm going to bring these back. Magic. Okay, um, we're going to put them aside again. Okay. So, now that we are finishing, we are... Okay. So, guys, you see this bit here? That bit? gonna get these and the reason why you needed this elastic so this can hit that and keep the spinning things in place like that and now you're just gonna leave it like that and that's the finished thing I'm just joking um, 
And now we can, once we put all four of them, we'll give it a little spin test. Let's make sure these are straight. Okay. Alright, so let's give it a good spin test. Okay, light. Nothing too special. And you see these um, little gaps here, we're gonna clip them here. Maybe this will make it a bit more stable because we're gonna test spin it again, but it's, it's gonna keep it together, which is a good thing. Okay, I took that off before, so I'll put it back on. Uh, that there. So let's spin it again. Okay, much better, much better. It's more balanced. Okay, now for the fun bit. Okay, um, so one of these. So you, uh, if you come closer, um, if you look here these these and that you're going to attach these to it so let me show you so I'm gonna attach that to there and then this to there like so and you're going so the reason why you need this and this was in the pins so this doesn't move when you spin it around and this keeps it together so when you move it around you can like spin it oh wait i'll show you when i put the rest on so it's more balanced okay wait nope that one was not wait uh let's put these pins down guys so you see these let's put them down the something wrong one of these is not oh it's maybe because it's not balanced okay yeah that's fair okay there we go we got all four so guys um like i said this this yellow gear is in place so these blue gears when it moves it's these can spin on it which makes this move as well as well as this so look so this and this move at the same time I'll move it here so you can see it better and if I show you at the back this is what you spin it with And if you want to look closely in how the mechanism works, I'm going to go in. I love how it spins even when this is not moving, which is kind of weird. This moves faster than this. Oh, it's probably the ones that are spinning there. That makes a lot more sense. So yeah, I hope you guys like it. Subscribe to see my videos. Bye guys.